Hey, this is Ricky Kennedy, Cichlids. Today's video, we're looking at more dragon blood power. That's what my channel needed. It's about time I got my act straight and showed you what you wanted. More dragon blood power. In this aquarium, we've got over a hundred dragon bloods. These were raised in house inside my house. Not just in house, but in the house. And what we're going to do here is uh, you're going to be able to see the color morphs, the different colors of the dragon bloods. Uh, a lot of times you'll look at one dragon blood and not realize that the other dragon blood that you saw five minutes ago actually looks different. But side by side, you'll be able to see the color differences. You're going to be able to see these when they get full size and still do well in this aquarium. I had tremendous success in a 75 gallon at a hatchery. And they were full size dragon blood peacocks. And they were breeding and they weren't killing each other off. So in this 125, I think I'll be able to up that, up the ante a little bit and have tremendous success. Now on that 75 gallon, I did not have uh, any caves. So the caves can create some territory. So we'll see how that plays in this, in this setup. Uh, we'll have some different things going on in this aquarium. I'll be able to show this aquarium in many more future videos uh, that will go over different things that I'm doing with this aquarium and other aquariums. Uh, for this setup, I did change the flow since I changed it from the frontoses. The frontoses had a little bit of a slower flow. So I did uh, change out some pumps and, uh, well, one pump. And it's a little bit more flow, so it's got some good circulation through here. And also over here, uh, there's what makes a little bit of a down flow, an off flow from this tubing here. To get to make sure this area here in front of the matting filter is not dead. So let's take a look at these fish here. And then we'll, later after I show you these fish and say a few more things, I'm going to do some big shout outs for the people at my workplace that... Uh, really got myself energized in the YouTube hobby because uh, it was about a year I guess kind of stopped and different reasons for that but they got me going and I appreciate that so let's take some close-up looks at these fish here and check out the dragon blood power now there already has been a little bit of a territory uh, changes in here because they were actually put in here today so there is a little bit of uh, detritus that's floating around because I changed all the uh, scaping in here as well as putting all the fish in here today uh, I only have limited time to do videos so I went ahead and did this video before it cleared up completely it's already cleared up quite a bit I did leave the Cynodonis fish in here uh, the Cynodonis fish uh, hopefully in the future we'll uh, use the peacocks uh, to breed. What they do is they have the these little territory battle right here. You can see the, the color morphs of those two right there are a little bit different. So the, the Cynodonis they use the other uh, dragon bloods to breed. What they do is they, ha they trick the uh, peacocks to picking up their eggs after they're fertilized and then the the peacocks will actually raise the fry of the synodonis in their mouth. So that's going to be exciting. Hopefully that will happen in the future. So you see there's a little bit of territory battles, but nothing major. Any torn fins that you see was actually done before today. Uh, there's not really been too much aggression in here today. Uh, I think with the amount of space and everything in here, there won't be any problem. Plus you have so many fish uh, you know it actually helps the aggression uh, but uh, we'll, we'll have to keep a really good look on that now you can see that this one's got more yellow in it that one right there that just went up come back down there some of them's got more yellow uh, some of them are actually a good majority of these came from starburst so even though they look uh, like regular um, dragon bloods right now they'll look more like my starburst peacock uh, and they will have the, if you look closely at some of these the males they'll have the white lips let me get a, a little bit of a hand shot here so you can look at them a little bit better 
There's a male. It's looking pretty good right there in the back. One there. The line's a little bit too bright in some places. This one's looking good. If you look at the white lips on this, this one is definitely an offspring from Starburst. So he'll become more orange, but still keep the white lips, which is a really cool trait to have. These two are looking really good. And I expect more of them to color up because they just got moved today. So some of the ones that didn't have color will color up in this aquarium because it's such a big aquarium. Come over here. You see that one? That one looks really good. And this one's got a little bit more yellow in it if you look at this one right there in front of that cave. And you can see the Synodonis back there in the back. There's one of them. The other one's back here behind the, the here, back here. There's two of them. I think they're male and female because one's bigger than the other one. So I'm hoping so. I'm keeping my fingers crossed on that. So there's a lot of questions a lot of times. Anytime I do a video, what kind of filtration I'm using. I'm using a matte filter here. Come right over here. You'll see the big matte. I get that from eBay, uh, pretty cheap. That mat right there is about $12. I did, did a DIY on the pump and the little uh, intake, intake and outtake uh, tubes. Uh, it took about two minutes. I got videos on that, so you can check that out. You know, I don't have to do another one. Look there, do you see the Dragonite Peacock? I had him for a year and he hasn't colored up. So he was in a very small aquarium. Let's get a better look at him. He was in a very small aquarium, so he didn't really color up. And it's been a year. So I expect he'll be coloring up really well in this aquarium soon. So I'll be looking forward to the updates on that. He's only got the black on the one side, but I will be burying him once he gets to full size with some other OB peacocks. I left the area over here to the left, which I'll scan back a little bit. Over here to the left where I'm going to do some breeding over here. I have plenty of breeding room. The flow is really good. And I expect the aquarium will be actually a better, uh, even better quality than with the front toes because these guys sift more. So let me give you a little feeding video of this because they're going to go like crazy. They're already wanting to eat. Of course, peacocks are always wanting to eat, so let me show you feeding them a little bit. Here you can see the flow on top of the water there. I'm going to put some food, food in there, and when you get to watch the feeding frenzy. Now, I only usually feed like once a day, so I actually feed quite a bit during my feeding times. Let's look over here. You can see them going like crazy over here. So I'm going to have to figure out how much food to put in here because like your first time you feed a new aquarium with a bunch of different fish you have to kind of you know figure out how much to put in there at one time. Um, but I'll uh, either scale up or scale down the feeding frenzy. But I want to make sure I feed them enough where they're growing and they're breeding. Uh, you can feed them where they're healthy and when they're and they won't breed. You have to feed them a little bit extra so they'll be breeding and actually growing because you can uh, have a healthy fish that doesn't really grow uh, doesn't breed and then you have, can have a fish that's really growing and breeding. Uh, either way is is acceptable but here I'm wanting to grow them to full size and have them breeding like crazy. Alright I'm gonna now do my big shout outs for all my co-workers uh, from my workplace uh, they've been encouraging me a lot they've been giving me thumbs up they've been sharing my videos so I'm gonna take time to do that real quick so the big first shout out I want to give is to the lean bean Lena she's one of the more inspirational people I got the workplace you know talking about my YouTube channel and so forth give me support she's a hard worker as well and we got the Fonz. 
he actually repeats to me back what's in my video so I know he's watching them and that's awesome and especially he's watching the entire video and he doesn't even have fish so that's that's really cool and so a big shout out to Fonz and then we got Dylan better known as Frazier he's watching all my videos he's watching them to the end and he's coming up with names for my fish so we still have that name challenge going for uh, one of the fish that was in here He's been moved, and then next week's video, or for the next video I do, you're going to see him again in a nice new setup. It's going to be similar to this. This is all dragon blood, so we may have another similar aquarium going for your next video. Then we got Kennedy. Kennedy uh, is a big supporter. She comes back here in my, in my work area and helps us out back there. She's been a big supporter, going around to people she works with. is like, hey, Ricky's got a YouTube account. Check his videos out. So she's been a big supporter. And we got David. I don't know his nickname. I could say Super Dave, but he likes to go by David. David is a big supporter. He's watching my videos, giving me the thumbs up. I appreciate all the, you know, the real big support I've been getting here at the workplace. And I hope you all continue to do so. And thanks again for watching. This has been Ricky Kennedy Cichlids. And sometimes just during the day, you need more Dragon Blood Power.